Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we got the old Dodge loaded up with the trailer, about to head down the road. I finally pulled the trigger on a truck I've been looking at. We're gonna go pick it up, check it out, and see what we got, so stick around. Alrighty y'all, so we got our back home. Gonna go ahead, get off the trailer, give y'all a walk around, show you what we're working with. Alrighty y'all, so this is my new 1986 Chevy three quarter ton K20 four wheel drive, four speed, six two diesel. So I picked this up from a guy at work. He's had it for maybe the last 10, 12 years, something. It was last registered in 2018, which gives me confidence we can get this thing running again. I'm gonna start off with the bat and then I'll show you what's really cool about this truck. So first, you can see how badly warped and bent and rusted this old bed is. I think that's about the same size as a roll of hay, which I'm guessing is what happened to this truck. He has a farm. This was his farm truck. You can see it's got the gooseneck hitch still in it and stuff. So that's why this truck is as beat up as it is, but it's got good bones. So let's talk about the rust in the truck. So fender wells are all rusted out. Rockers. Cab corners rusted out both sides. Somehow or another, the tow mirrors got pushed through the door on the passenger side, and both doors have that weird fish on it. I don't know what the deal is with that. Like I said, this is a diesel. Got dual fuel tanks, one on each side. It did come with the toolbox. I was a little plus. I do have to give the gooseneck plate back though, unfortunately. Inside the cab. So this does have power windows and power locks which to be honest with you even though that is kind of nice i'd rather really just have the manual ones i think because like right now i can't get that window to go the rest of the way up because i don't have batteries for this instrument cluster looks pretty good i think some of the gauges probably aren't working like the old pressure gauge is all the way down it's reading 88,901 miles that's probably at least 188,000 diesel fuel only the dash it's all cracked up which all these do that that's no surprise also before i forget it's got the factory radio in it and then this is an ac truck this was another selling point for me and he said the ac was ice cold when he parked it floor pans aren't too bad i mean there's a little rust in them but i've seen way worse than that Unfortunately, the grill's all busted up, which doesn't hurt my feelings too bad because I'd kind of like to do a 73 to 80 front clip swap on this, get the old round headlights. Up under the hood is the not so legendary 6.2 Chevy diesel. You can see right there where it says 6.2 liter. This really looks pretty good under here. It don't look like it's been messed with a lot. I did see this kind of dangling here. That looks like maybe a starting solenoid. And that would make sense why they have this wire coming up through the dash. I'm guessing this is how they used to start it. Like I've said in past videos, I'm not a diesel guy. I've not heard great things about these. The previous owner said it got great fuel mileage, but it just wasn't super torquey. So I'm excited to learn something new. Gonna fool with it, see what we can do with it, get it running hopefully. 
and uh, we'll have us a little diesel truck here. So the main thing that drew me to this truck, it is a four speed, so I'm guessing probably like the SM465. Four wheel drive, but unfortunately it is the NP208. That's the aluminum case, chain driven transfer case. Not the best thing in the world. I was really hoping for like a 205. And like I said, it is three quarter ton, but it's got the light duty axles. I think that's like a Chevy 10 bolt. And I believe this is a Chevy 14 bolt, but it's a light duty. It's a nine and a half inch ring gear. If you look up there, you can see though, it's got like dual exhaust pipes coming back here with like glass packs. So that all sound pretty good. You can see this rear spring back here is broke but he actually said that it came that way when he bought it like 10 years ago. He never fixed it and he never had a problem with it, but I'm probably gonna have to fix that. So like the day before I go to pick that truck up, one of my friends texted me, said he had a bunch of old Chevy stuff that he was getting rid of, and he pretty much just donated it to me. So I appreciate it, Matt, for helping me out with this stuff. This is some kind of big, maybe dump truck transmission. I'm not sure what it is. It's massive. It's got a big old PTO port here. If you know what it is, let me know down in the comments. So this, I believe, is the SM465, the four-speed granny low gear transmission. These are great. This is the big brother to the SM420. So this was a really cool find. So this, I was guessing, might be like an NP435 or something. But then if you look up here on the shift knob, it's got low then two, three, four, five, and reverse. So I don't know what this would be out of. If you know what this is though, let me know down in the comments because I'm really interested to see what it is. It's got the old school like parking brake on it. So it must be something old, but I have no idea what it could be. So I've got this bumper, it's not in the best shape, but it's solid, come with the hitch and stuff. I'll show you what this bumper goes to. All right, so this has come off like a late 70 square body. It's a short wheelbase step side. These things are getting really hard to find. This one's not in like perfect shape. You can see it's got some mold, some moss. It's got some rust in it. Nothing too crazy. There's a little tear in the fender there. Looks like a little body work here, a little rust. This is probably the worst, this big dent back here. I'm gonna have to beat out. It did have both the taillights on it though and the bracket, so that was pretty cool. Somebody did diamond plate it, which I'd kind of like to take it back to wood, but I might just leave the diamond plate for now. So why do I have the step side bed? Well, my original idea with this truck was to actually take the old rusted smashed up bed off this, shorten the frame and make a three quarter ton step side, four speed, four wheel drive, six two diesel Chevy truck. I don't think they ever made those from the factory I just think it would be such a cool custom truck to have. Now, since I've got home, I'm starting to think maybe I should just clean it up, you know, get it running, driving, get it where you can use it again, and maybe pass it on to the next guy to use it on his farm, or maybe somebody looking for a project vehicle. It would be really cool to do it, but there's a lot of money and time invested in that. I've already got so many projects going on right now. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it at this point. I really wanna do that build. I think it'd be super cool. It'd be really unique, but I've already got like three other trucks, plus the Scout and two Jeeps. I've just got so many projects on my hands right now. Let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see from this truck. There's a lot of good projects, a lot of good opportunity in this truck. I always see a ton of potential in old vehicles like this. So let me know what y'all would like to see on the channel from this truck. I appreciate y'all checking out this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time.